Hi guys, 11 subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well and I hope you're having a great day. So today I'm here to talk about two things. So first off, something that I encountered a little while back when cleaning Puff's tank was that it was actually kind of invested with mites. It's not harmful to them, but it's just, you know, e-bugs. It's just one of those things. I will attach some clips of the wood mites. They are not, they are not, not, not snake mites. Due to the fact that, first of all, they are not black and they are not sprinkled all over my all over my sink which is great second of all there are none on puff they're just completely surrounded in his water he actually did defecate in one of his hides and I feel like that's what maybe where the mites may have um, sprouted from I really don't know. I'm switching substrate and I cleaned everything out. I bleached it. I boiled it. I made sure everything was absolutely spotless because I don't want any more bugs. I mean, that's it. I don't want any more bugs. Number two is Puff Shed again which is pretty cool. It's his second shed. Let me show you guys his first shed. It was, it was super cute. This is his first shed. Um, I'm not sure where the rest of it is. It is my favorite. I will never, ever, ever throw this away. Ever, ever throw this away because it is the cutest thing ever. Okay, so I did not make it in time to Puff's first shed to get the shed and flip it inside out so sadly this this dried a little bit quickly and it dried inside out here's another part of his shed on this side you can see where his eye caps are and this this was a uh, it was a decent shed although it broke up into two pieces here is his second shed he's growing he is becoming such a big boy look at this just look at my chunky boy look at those belly scales he actually had some stuck shed and I will attach the video to that um, I had no clue he was in shed I had no idea it was uh, it caught me off guard what has happened was my snake puff which is oh sh off oh, so I was looking through trying to show you guys puffs cage and actually came to find out he shed which is incredible always great when they shed it looks like a pretty okay shed all in one piece all the way down to his tail he just broke off a little little short under his head so there's his other other shed i've sprayed this towel with some water some warm water puff actually did not get all of his shed completely off so I'm just gonna rub it off of him with a warm towel. It's okay, it's okay. Kinda have to apply some pressure here. I know, I see half of your face is so pale. It's so pale, why is it pale? Oh. There we 
go. But if we don't get the shed off of you, it's gonna be even harder in the end. And it was a really good shed, honestly. It's just the his head. That means he's gonna need some more moisturization this next time around. I can't believe I didn't know Puff was in shed. <laughs> Yay, there we go. <laughs> Hi guys! So Puff has a, he has a grown. He's grown quite a bit. Cleaned his, his mouth off. He is looking so handsome. So this video was originally not about shedding at all like by any means, but I just happened to find out that he was shedding. So that's pretty cool. What I was trying to discuss is, I'll let him just hang out there. So we have come into a situation with some mites. No, not snake mites, wood mites. It's not the best, greatest thing, but basically, I don't wanna gross anyone out, but, You can see them running around. Yeah. So those need to be treated. My theory is because the humidity plus the feces on this probably attracted them and created some type of life form for where they can live happily in a humid environment. It's also in the water. So all of this, honestly, the substrate, needs to be trashed moss needs to be trashed this whole wood hide needs to be trashed everything needs to be completely cleaned out and bleached that's going to be a process but basically all we're going to do is we're going to throw this away we're going to bleach this and this and this we're going to bleach it with some good old bleach and then we're gonna boil it in hot water and put it back in um it's just it does not affect the snake these wood mites are not hurtful or bothersome to them it's just the matter of i want it to be clean in there i don't want any other i don't want it to be bioactive <laughs> you know what i mean like clean puff's cage kidwa his cage is probably next to be changed because we use the same substrate with him but he does not get sprayed as much because his humidity uh, requirements are not that high. Um, however, puffs puffs are quite high. He's around 80% humidity. Kato was around 40, so it's quite a big difference there. Yeah, is a snake. Is a very very scary snake. Dang, that boy's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> 